Okay, okay. Very good question. Very good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, little Crime Spree, oh. a.k.a. Cat. That's my name, Cat. Yeah. Um, little Crime Spree. What's the Little Crime Spree? Because Crime Sprees are supposed to be like huge Crime Sprees, no? Yeah. So I used to steal a lot. And my brother would always make fun of me, and he'd be like, "Oh, you're going on one of your little crime sprees." <laughs> what, what, what would you steal? Uh, paint, clothes, really anything, groceries, even. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anything really. I mean, I, I'll still. Never mind. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> but I always ask people too, though. Like, honestly, like, because people have money. I've been with like, tell this quick story, real quick. Is like, I'll be with a homie, and I'm like, "Hey, dog, I have money, dog. We could, we're gonna go in this store." You know what I mean? You get whatever you want to drink, I got you. But then they still manage to take something. And then they're like, it's the thrill. Is that is that it for you? It's a yeah. klepto, right? <laughs> Definitely. I don't think I'm a klepto because klepto is steal from people too. And I don't yeah. steal from people. I steal from corporations. And I think that's a big thing. Um, I don't like big corporations. So I think stealing from them is pretty much giving back to the people. Um, but I, yeah, I'll have a... Like, I'll have, good money in my pocket and I'll still steal if trip I can. Out, trip out, trip yeah. out. What do the corporations ever do to you? Um, well, corporations have taken money from poor people and I grew up poor. Now I have money but, okay. you know, like I know of families that can't even get benefits to get food and, you know, they like they're struggling, starving pretty much. So, so I think food should be very cheap. Much so cheaper. And then, so then you form a corporation called Little Crime Spree to sell corporate stuff to poor people. Well, no, that's not necessarily true because it's so not a corporation. So break it down, break it down, break it yeah, down. Yeah, I'm a small business. Also, like, if I have a chance, I'll give people shit. Like, if I make enough money I'll and somebody doesn't have enough money in their pocket, I'll just give it to them or, you know? I don't ever really do people in. <laughs> yeah, have some? Can I have some? <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, you what up, top free. Right um, yeah, we got him on mic now. He could talk and shit before we didn't let him talk. I will. But um, no, I, I was getting at it because um, you had the gentrification that I seen uh, that logo. Explain that one and uh, let him know what's good with that design. So um, my family has been in Echo Park since 1944. Well, specifically my dad's family. And my mom, the first place she uh, came to as an immigrant from Nicaragua was to Echo Park. Um, and I just, it makes me upset when I go there now and there's like white people in the street and they act like they, you know, like they own the place. They don't want to move out of your way. Very inconsiderate. But is that, is that a cultural thing though? Or I mean like, cause, um, Hispanic people, we, we, uh, a lot of respect and reverence, you know, that's how we navigate. Like, cause they don't have that. Do we, not that we accept it, but understand that it's a different culture. Is that, am I looking at it wrong? It could be, but I also think that there's a sense of entitlement there. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah, um, like you're coming into somebody's neighborhood and you have more money than them or than the community in general, and you're gonna go ahead and take, you know, advantage of the cheaper rent and like pretty much take over somebody's neighborhood, and that's exactly that, what they do. And when we say take over, we're not like take over in the sense, but it's necessarily like the change. You know what I mean? Like. We're, we're uh, Latino, Hispanic, Mexican, uh, Nicaraguan. We we take care of our neighbors. We're community driven. We're family driven. So when someone else comes out, I always wanted to like spread that across. It's like when you come out and you know you don't take care of your neighbors, you're calling the police on your neighbors, and it's like we've been doing these parties for years and years and years. Like this is the first year here, and you can't take the sound. You know what I mean? Like that. that I just want to like further explain that because. When we say, oh, gentrification, or like, nah, dude, we're like trying to hold on with ours, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Like, we had a neighbor, um, actually, we got kicked out because they said that we were gang members. Um, Do you mean uh, you aren't? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's that thing of like being brown. Like, oh, I'm going to call the cops on these people for being brown, you know? Like, yeah. they're making too much noise. But if it was a white person having a party, it'd be a different story, you know? Well, no, no, because uh, three or four or more is a gang. Like, I mean, for Latinos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, for other people, it's a business meeting. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so I just want, like I said, I just wanted to touch on that because I know a lot of people embrace that. that Because uh, it has the park in it, right? You have the, the lake, I'm sorry. In the in the logo that you did? Yeah. Explain that logo. What was um, that? Does it? What is no, it, what it is has, it's the, it's the, uh, the L.A. County emblem. Okay. So it's, I think it's a Narcan, which is a whole other thing. There's people dying and, you know, uh -huh. that's a whole other thing. 
and um, I think it has a, like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but wh- why? Why? Um, why is it meant to be for the design, or is it politically motivated? It's, honestly, yeah, honestly. it's definitely politically motivated. Dope. Yeah, Dope. it definitely is. I think that. Everything in the photo is supposed to be stuff that's supposed to chase out gentrification. There's like a spray can in it, you know? Nice. It's That's what it's supposed to be. I, I feel like I want my presence to make them feel uncomfortable. I'm sure it does. Yeah. <laughs> um, where, where can they find all your, your designs, all your work? Um, so my Instagram is uh, L-I-L Crime Spree, Lil Crime Spree. And um, on that page, I have a link to my Big Cartel there. My Big Cartel is lilcrimespree.bigcartel.com. And then on my Instagram, if I'm uh, like at a pop-up or anything, um, I'll post it there. And if you are short on money, I'll hook you up. Dope, dope. Uh, do you do custom work? Um, it depends. Yeah, like if you want one of my designs on like a brown shirt, I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good, good. I want to thank you for the interview. Uh, we've you. been working with you. Uh, let them know about the um, the Echo Park pop ups, oh, dog. Yeah. Like, man, if you ain't been to one, it's like a whole vibe. But you, you tell them, not me. You know. Yeah. So I have pop ups. Me and Pinky. Where's Pinky? Me and Pinky um, have been collaborating on these pop ups at Echo Park. Uh, we have OG Husky Radio there DJing. Um, we try to aim for the first Sunday of every month, but sometimes it varies. So just check my Instagram. I post the flyers. Um, the vendors. There's more vendors now. We just treat it like a big ass barbecue. It's pretty cool. It's more. That's a whole vibe though. It's yeah. like so chill. And then even just to be in the middle of the park, like you know what I mean, like feeling comfortable is just, you know, very rare. You could do that now. Yeah, you know? definitely. We own the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> OJ, any shout outs before we get out? Uh, Pink LA, dude. Pink LA. You already know. Yeah, my baby daddy rogue. He's a killer. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, on a different segment, I'll, I'll break down the interview we did and shit. <laughs> okay. But not on this one. This is all about little crime spree. Thank you mm-hmm. for your time. Thank you. Oh, just radio. Stay close for more interviews to come.